welcome back to another episode of the Breast Cancer Physio. I'm your host Jen McKenzie, lymphedema physiotherapist and ESSA accredited exercise physiologist. In this video I'm going to be covering a topic that is a really common question that pops up in the clinic all the time and it's quite a narrow topic but it's an important one to discuss and that is why is my arm and armpit numb after breast cancer surgery? So without further ado, if you enjoy this content and you would like to see more, then please subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment in the section below if you have any questions on this video or if you would like any other questions answered about other topics around breast cancer. So first of all, let's just talk about what area I'm describing uh, regarding the numbness that can occur after breast cancer surgery. So when we talk about numbness in the armpit, we're literally talking about this area. Most commonly, this area is going to be numb as well as the medial upper arm, so the inside of the upper arm. So I should put a little note here to say that a lot of people sometimes first assume that some of these symptoms might be lymphedema starting, when in actual fact that's not usually the case the numbness that occurs is usually quite specific so it's usually in this area anywhere from your armpit sort of down towards the elbow but most commonly like i said it's on the inside of the arm so rather than it being on this this section of the outside of the arm and it's all to do with which nerves get bumped around damaged even cut sometimes during breast cancer surgery but even more specifically, the surgery that is going on in the armpit. The technical word for armpit, by the way, is axilla. So if you see axilla written in any of your medical records, they're referring to your armpit. So this is the why as to why the numbness occurs. So whenever breast surgery is done, most of the time when it involves breast cancer, they will be looking at your lymph nodes. Most of the time, they will be at least assessing your sentinel node. So if you've had a sentinel node biopsy, that means you've had the first node that drains from the breast taken out. So a sentinel node biopsy sometimes is a little bit of a confusing term because people assume that a biopsy means that only part of the node is taken when in actual fact the whole first node and sometimes up to three or four nodes can be taken in a sentinel node biopsy. So if you've had a sentinel node biopsy, there can still be numbness occurring in the armpit and the upper arm. And then, of course, if you've had what we call an auxiliary node dissection or auxiliary node clearance, where there's a lot of nodes taken, so usually more than four um, being a central node biopsy, if you've had an auxiliary node clearance, then typically the armpit and the upper arm are still going to be numb. So like I said, this is all to do with the nerve tissue that runs through the axilla getting bumped around cut, um, stretched probably, um, inflammation occurring around these nerves um, during the surgery. So that I should also point out here as well that I believe this is actually also the same reason that cording occurs. So if you haven't seen any of my videos on cording, um, I'll just leave a little card up here. Um, go and check them out because cording is a very common condition after breast cancer surgery. But again, I believe that cording occurs because of the mucking around that the surgeons are, have to do um, during, during the surgery to assess your lymph nodes. So a lot of um, attention is focused on the chest wall for breast cancer surgery, but ironically, I think a lot of symptoms after breast cancer surgery are actually more driven from what happens in the armpit region. So you can be quite sore and tender for some time after breast cancer surgery in your armpit. So sometimes people who've had a lumpectomy will come in and say, my breast feels completely fine. Or if you've had a mastectomy, they'll say, yep, my scar's healed. There's no tension around my scar, but man, is my armpit sore. And that's often because of the scar tissue that's um, going, uh, sorry, that's healing in the armpit. So um, pay attention to your armpit after your breast cancer surgery, even if you've only had a central node biopsy performed, because there could be soreness, there could be fluid. In this case, we are talking about numbness that is occurring in the area. 
And like I said, this is all to do with um, the necessary evil essentially, essentially that um, the surgeons have to go through to get to lymph nodes, to assess lymph nodes. So it has to be done, unfortunately. Um, it's not that they can necessarily help um, this situation, but it's good to know why the armpit and the upper arm are numb after the surgery. Now here's the good news, guys. The good news is that the nerve tissue that gets damaged in the armpit region is peripheral nerve tissue. So you might have heard of the word peripheral neuropathy if you've had chemotherapy. Peripheral essentially means that it's away from your central um, part of your body. Um, but specifically when we're talking about peripheral nerve tissue, we're talking about nerves that are outside your central nervous system. So anything that's not your spinal cord, not your brain, is part of your peripheral nervous system. And the good news is that peripheral nerve tissue for the large majority of people will grow back. But the catch is that it grows back at around a millimeter a day. So you can imagine that if you're numb from here down to your elbow, that's quite a lot of distance for that nerve tissue to slowly grow back over time. And certainly I would say that some of my patients can still be experiencing that numbness 12 months or slightly more, um, you know, when we're talking about how long it actually takes for this nerve tissue to fully grow back. So one of the things I suppose I would like to mention in this video is um, uh, put a realistic time frame on the recovery of this nerve tissue because even though in the large majority of cases it can grow back, it's going to be slow. Now, on that note, because you know blood flow is king for healing in most body parts, I think from clinical experience, one of the things that I like to encourage my patients to do with this area that is numb because the numbness can get quite irritating you know it can feel like someone else's arm is banging against your body um, and things can happen like you'll be spraying deodorant on and going I don't even know if I got my armpit so that's a really common annoyance for the breast cancer survivor um, but I think because um, a lot of healing is dictated by blood flow from my clinical experience, and, and this is theoretical what I'm about to say here, this is not backed by research evidence, I think one of the best things you can do with peripheral nerve damage is to um, stimulate that area. So rather than try to suppress that feeling of, of numbness, which is a little bit of a yucky feeling sometimes, um, I would actually go to that area and, and be massaging it just lightly. Um, you can do firm massage. There's no harm in, in doing firm massage or light massage. And essentially the nerve tissue that does get damaged here is what we refer to as sensory nerve tissue. So sensory nerve tissue literally meaning this is the nerve tissue that supplies the sense to the, to the skin. So um, that's why touching the skin it's, it's a numb feeling. So it's not like you lose the use of the muscles in your arm in this area. Otherwise that would be motor nerve damage as opposed to sensory nerve damage. So if it's peripheral nerve tissue, but it's sensory nerves, then I believe that stimulating this area with touch, with massage, um, any textures you want to throw at this, you could put tissue paper against your arm, you could put um, any anything that's not going to break the skin, of course, um, against here to stimulate those sensory nerve endings. In the same way that I often encourage my patients with peripheral neuropathy to get blood flow to their feet and their fingertips because um, at the end of the day, the best thing to create a hearing healing response is blood flow so exercise is something I'm often advocating for patients who have peripheral neuropathy in their feet and their hands because exercise is going to create a lot of blood flow around the body and hopefully enhance the healing effect again not that I'm aware of but it's not clinically sorry it's not um, research indicated that advice but from a theoretical point of view I think um, it is certainly makes sense to me that um, to stimulate those areas is a um, is a practical idea and, and certainly you're not going to be doing any harm to those body parts by by stimulating them with a bit of massage. So that's essentially the good news is that it is peripheral nerve tissue that does grow back slowly over time. Um, as I said, keep it as a realistic goal that this could take 12 months or more. Now, here's the interesting bit. When the nerve tissue does grow back to the point where people are recognizing uh, sensation is coming back into this area, you may experience some strange sensations that are um, 
you know, very new after a 12 month hiatus of not feeling anything in this area. So some of my patients will say to me, oh gosh, like I'm getting all these like weird zappy sort of sensations in my armpit or my arm. It might be like a sudden sharp, you know, lightning bolt of pain, or it just might feel different and a a bit funny. Um, You just might have these short, sharp sensations coming through every now and again. And usually when my patients are telling me this, I'm hopefully putting two and two together and recognizing that it may be this peripheral nerve tissue that is finally starting to grow back. Some patients will even say, you wouldn't believe what happened to me this morning. I went to put my deodorant on and I think I actually felt the deodorant hit my arm, which as you can imagine, after 12 months of not knowing if you've hit the spot with your deodorant, it's pretty bloody exciting when that happens. So watch out for those little um, signs and symptoms of nerve regeneration. Um, It's something to actually get excited about, to be honest, guys, because it ultimately means that that peripheral nerve tissue that um, initially got damaged in the surgery is growing back finally. So um, it it can be a very annoying symptom for breast cancer survivors to have this um, lack of sensation in the armpit, in the arm, Um, and I think that's why I wanted to do this video is it's a very common question that pops up as to why this area is numb um, and how long it will take to recover or if at all if it will recover at all and and unfortunately there are people out there um, that that may experience this area doesn't regenerate feeling Um, that that, I certainly see that happen and, and that can be even more frustrating but even more reason I believe from my clinical experience to start stimulating this area. So rather than ignore it and try to suppress the feeling of the numbness, actually do some massage through here. Um, Give it some TLC, um, try and stimulate that nerve tissue. Um, I think it's again, another reason that why exercise is so important because like I said before with the peripheral neuropathy, um, if you're doing arm exercises, you're probably enhancing um, the ability for the nerve to grow back. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you've gained some fantastic information on why my arm and armpit are numb after breast cancer surgery. If you have any questions about this video, then please leave a comment in the section below and I'll get back to you as fast as I can. I'll be back here again next week with another video around breast cancer. Hope you're having a great week wherever you are. I'm Jen McKenzie, the Breast Cancer Physio, and I'll see you next time.